Hey everyone, Enderlord05 here, and today I'm gonna do another video nobody cares about! Yay! So, another video no one asked for. Today we are going to be I'm going to be showing you how to get to the Insomniac Museum in Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, aka one of my favorite games of all time. And if you can't tell, we're on my home planet, Planet Smog. Not where I live, the area. This area is actually the distribution facility for Megacorp. I was actually just picking up a package, so I have to actually go back home after this. So, let's go to Planet Boland, Silver City. That's where it is. A weird place. So let's go to Planet Boland. I think that's how you say it. Alright, bye-bye, Smog. So we have to fly through quadrant B27, I think, to quadrant B A17. All right, here we are, Planet Boland. So, hold on, let me get a weapon first. Uh, what weapon would be good for this? Why not the Rhino too? So. We have to go on the grind rail, which is also the power lines. It's kind of tricky to get. But actually, it's out of bounds, which is really cool. Sorry. Alright, let's do the grind rail. Ouch. It's fine, I have so much nanotech, it doesn't even matter. There we go. Jump. Alright, we just have to get this. Alright, and now fly over here. And perfect! Now we're out of bounds. What's weird is these lampposts still break, which is weird, even though it's out of bounds. Because you can never normally get here during normal gameplay. You're supposed to be in there. And then later. Oh, gosh dang it! Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I found a secret area. But this isn't actually where we want to get to. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I fell down here. I mean, I guess this is a cool secret area. Can I actually get back out? Oh my gosh, I can't actually get back out. <sighs> gosh dang it. I have to reload my save, guys. One sec. But we're still flying to the planet anyway. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, uh, unwanted discovery. I hope someone can use that in a video. Probably if they're like, boundary break. Alright. So, now the actual video. Uh, sorry about that undocumented discovery. So let's actually get back to that area. <laughs> Alright, let's grind. Ouch, I keep missing that jump. Ooh, epic skills. Alrighty. Oh, I don't think I'm actually gonna make it. Whoops, I jumped off too early. Sorry about that, I jumped off too early there. I keep getting it mixed up to see if it's the one after that or the one before. So I keep getting mixed up. Okay, sorry about the bad footage. I don't have a capture card for PlayStation 2, so you're gonna have to make do without. Okay, I'm gonna make it. So I want to make sure not to walk over there, and actually use my charge boots, let me equip them real quick. I like to call them my rocket boots. So, where is the Insomniac Museum, you might ask? Actually, 
got to take this road over here and go go onto a glitch road. I'll make sure not to jump down there next time. So it's actually a little glitched because you can see right through it. I mean the top layer of texture is missing so you can see through it. What's that up there? I, I don't know, it's really glitchy out here because you never intended to get here. The door never opens. You have to get really close to get that to load there. So you might be asking, wait, if there's a museum in here, how come we can't get there? Then if you can't get there, why am I making this video? Top 10 questions saying so can't answer. So what you're supposed to do is go here and then you'll just be like, one second, whoa, no collision. Then you can actually jump up here. Sorry, one second. All right, sorry about the loud noises. These guys never go away. They just keep respawning. So you're gonna have to take the teleporter and put you in your ship and you're flying through the galaxy to an undis undiscovered sector. To planet Earth? Planet. So here we are guys, the Insomniac Museum. Oh, to get back. There's a teleporter right there. Just jump on that. So let's actually do a little bit of exploration. This is Mike Stout. I'm a designer of Insomniac Games. Hi, welcome to the Insomniac Museum. Here you'll see some of the great things that never quite made it into the game. And you'll learn a little bit about life here at Insomniac Games. So it's really cool they did this, because all the scrapped content from the games from the second game is actually here. So I might make a whole video about this, but I'm just wanna go look at one thing. So let's look at some very HD water for a PlayStation 2 game. Doesn't look very HD from this, from the way you're, from the video, but oh my gosh, it's so HD. Hold on, what weapon can I use? Right, let me not look at that. All right. So, as you can see, if you press circle, it makes a splish splash. If you hold square, it stops. So you can literally just hold it and freeze it in time. So let's hear a little bit about the water. Hi, I'm Leslie Matheson. I'm a designer here at Insomniac Games. This was intended to be the water system for Ratchet and Clank. However, as even this little patch of water taxes the game engine to its limits, a modified and severely optimized form was what eventually made it into the game. And to pause it, press square. Alright guys, I'm definitely going to make a whole video on this. You know what, it's so interesting, I just want to see one more thing. It's a good thing. Oh, let's talk to Mr. British Man. This is Oliver Wade, the animation director of Insomniac Games doing an atrocious Ratchet tactic. This is the original Gadgetron vendor from Ratchet and Clank 1. The official reason it was cut had something to do with saving memory. The real reason has a lot to do with square. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but basically, this is the Gadgetron vendor from the first game, but they cut it because of saving memory or something, but the guy says it's about squirrels, hacksaws, and their lawyers. But all these models have no texture, no collision, so you can literally just walk through it. Hi! Hi, welcome to Chili's, dead meme. Hi, welcome to Chili's, what can I get you? Okay. Okay, it might have a texture. It's just a really basic one. Just, just like silver. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. If you want to see part 2, leave it in the comments or leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help out the channel. So please subscribe. And if you put in the comments or like the video, this is some of the stuff you might see in the next episode. And in part 2, we'll take a look at what this guy has to say. Good. Bye!